Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, so in the last video, we have created an Excel plugin and we have bulk uploaded the information into one of our entities, which is country code. And, and I have showed you the, the Excel interface that how you can use to, to connect to master data services if you want to do multiple operations, uh, which is pretty straightforward. And we also looked at the, the, the way how we can <clears throat> Let me just close this uh, left hand side. And in the last video, we have seen that how we can uh, install the Excel plugin if you want to interact with master data services, right? So let me just connect. Uh, I think my last connection was lost. Yeah, looks like the last connection was lost. Let me just create a new connection. It's not going to take much time. It's a quick review for us. So it's going to be up to here. Yeah. So that's my URL that I'm going to use. And I'm just following on BS development. All right, because that's my dev environment. Let me hit, let me connect. And hopefully it will bring the Okay, how about, let me just edit it, and I think I need to just do this. That would be better. All right, so let me see why it's not. Uh, let me delete it, but somehow, how about if I just go to the, yeah, I think that's, that's much better. Let me create now, and I think it's going to be HTTP, yeah. Let me hit test. Yeah, all good. So we are able to, I think there must be some uh, character issue with, with, the, with the URL. So now all good. Let's hit connect and like you can see, as soon as we connect, we are able to see the, the entities that we have created in our, <clears throat> I don't know, you see these files. So all these, they are now appearing into, into, my, into my Excel interface, right? So, <clears throat> sorry, if I want to, if I want to see the, sometimes if the, the, the left uh, window, if it disappeared, you can just, you know, click on, on the show explorer and you can uh, bring it back. <coughs> Excuse me. So our table is all good. Now the biggest challenge, so that, that table is sitting in the MDS and it is used by or controlled by the business. Now the next step, we're gonna see how we can uh, publish it into, into our databases. So our subs subsequent system or, you know, the, the downstream system, they, they can use that, that table or information into their, uh, I would say, reporting application, analytical application, or even the external application, which where we need that information to, to be used, right? So the, the whole concept of, of uh, MDS is that we are uh, centrally managing the, the information Information. And we have allocated someone who is responsible for, for, for this information. And if you remember my article on, on LinkedIn about the data accountability, so that, that's how we, we can control. Because obviously this table, which you are uh, currently seeing on, on your screen, it's going to be uh, under the ownership of the data steward who is going to control that information, who is making sure the information is correct. and that information is not going to be updated by a random person. So we have a full governance around, around this, this, uh, this entity, right? And the rest of the business can consume that entity through uh, maybe some uh, integration or some uh, reports or uh, there are multiple ways to, to consume that information. But currently the biggest uh, question is how we gonna, how we gonna publish that, that table to, to our database so we can consume it from, from there, right? So in order to, to uh, publish that table, the, the steps are pretty simple. Uh, for some, how my system is stuck. Let me just uh, come back 
uh, once my system is responding. All right, guys, welcome back. I, for somehow I fixed the, the issue. Well, I just need to close a couple of application, bit restart, so now it's all working. So I'm gonna uh, show you now that uh, how we can publish the the this entity which is now under governance uh, 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 framework and managed by the data steward. But obviously we want people to read this data from from the master data services. So the the steps are pretty simple. If we go home, uh, and we have the integration management. So we're just gonna click on in, in here. So the concept is we normally publish the, the, uh, the entities through views and these views are available as part of our uh, uh, master data services database that we have configured as part of the installation, right? So once the, the interface come in, uh, I'm gonna show you, but meanwhile, we can see in, in here. So that that's the database. Uh, that is working behind the, the master data services and make sure you are not uh, doing anything except, you know, uh, setting up the, the, uh, the views on top of it from uh, within the other databases, right? That's the system database. Don't try to, to muck around with it because if you try to change or you know, try to do anything and it gets corrupted, obviously you have to restore it and it's a big hassle to, to, to do it, right? So try to make sure you keep it vanilla uh, the, the, uh, and it should be clean, right? You, uh, we, we can create a views as much as we want and these views can literally distribute it across multiple uh, systems or or databases or the the other system can read from these views uh, as part of the the data extraction all right so hopefully by now we have uh, uh, yeah we can see we have the uh, uh, option to import the data so that's what we're going to see in in another video but in this video we are going to create a view and that view will allow us to publish our or share our data with the with the other other uh, departments or other team within the organization so let's hit add and I'm going to call it, let's say we review country course, right? So that's going to be my country. Uh, I'm not going to include the soft deleted members, but we can do if you want to, if you want these members to be captured by, by the downstream system, uh, it's possible, right? Uh, version, you can see which version we are going to use for our model. So as a first step, we're going to select the model. Then it will ask us which version we, you're going to use. So but, uh, currently we only have one version. So we're going to use only uh, default version. But if we have multiple version, it gives us the opportunity to use the version that we are interested to to uh, to use for, for the publishing, right? And then we have the uh, option that are we going to share the entity or the drive hierarchy. We haven't discussed the data hierarchy. So we're going to discuss it in the, in the later video. But in this one, we're going to select the entity and currently because I only have one entity which is an uh, 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 entity country code so I'm going to select it and what I'm going to do I'm going to use the leaf member but now you can see we have the leaf member history that we can include and even we can uh, select the leaf member SCD slowly ch changing dimension type two where it captured the full history of the changes that have been made over the time, right? So at this stage to keep it simple because generally we capture the SCD, SCD at the data warehouse level. So we don't need to, to pull that part in, in here, but just as a feature, you can do it if you want to, you know, capture the SCD as part of your uh, uh, MDS, right? So let's hit leaf member and Let's hit save. Now our country code uh, is available. Uh, so the best practice, let's see if it is available in the in the database, which is running behind. And let me just move my window in 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 here. So let me sorry. So that that's the feature, uh, best feature of the of the uh, uh, the. SQL uh, Server Management Studio that you can, you know, uh, sort by uh, object by the creation date. And you can see as soon as I have uh, sorted it in the descending order, the view I have created is, is uh, on the top of the list, right? So let me just right click and show you the structure.
Now you can see we have some metadata columns of our view and we also have the, the actual data column which is starting from uh, here. So you can see we have name, we have code and I have already discussed this. Please check the previous video if you haven't uh, understand these two default columns. But beside that we have some metadata information uh, like version name, version number, version ID which has been generated as part of the other uh, table, which are uh, part of the MDS database, the, the default database, which is working behind this application, right? And you can see the enter date, it's the capturing the date when I have, uh, uh, when I have entered that information, uh, who has entered it just for, from the auditing purpose. So you can see it's a fully auditable system that helps you to capture all the information who is, who is uh, you know, working with that that uh, master data within within your or your organization right and even the last uh, change username and last change version number so everything has been captured as part of uh, uh, of uh, uh, this this information which has been stored in the master data services entity now i can publish the whole information or generally because we we just need uh, the data column so what i'm going to do uh, because I've already created uh, my governance dev database, which is going to be shared between different uh, departments. And that that generally a, a good security practice. Don't expose your MDS database, default database directly with, with other uh, other teams. The best thing, create a wrapper database on top of it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this select statement. I'm going to go in in here create a new view and even before that let me just set up a schema because i want to put it in a separate schema so i can manage the the information as part of the information architecture so let me just create a new schema i'm going to call it mapping you can put uh, 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 caps if you want, but I generally uh, 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 use the small uh, uh, caps for, for, for the, uh, for the uh, schema information, right? So it's all good. I love uh, schema owner, I don't need to define. Let me just hit okay. And you can see by default, it's going to be automatically under the DBO, which is fine. Now what I'm going to do, have a look closely. I'm going to create a new window and i'm going to create a view create view and what i'm going to i'm going to provide the schema name first which is mapping and now i have the opportunity to give it a name so what i'm going to do i'm going to call it country quotes And I'm only going to select those columns which are needed. So like you can see, I'm going to select the name. Let me bring the code first because code is. And because I'm publishing it for, for, the, for the end user, so I don't need to provide them change tracking mass, right? I and they are only interested in the, in the, uh, I think yeah, that's all good. They are only interested in in the in the data columns, right? So we are providing them the name, country code with two letters and three letters. I think they are not interested in the in the uh, in the uh, other metadata information or system column. So we can safely remove them, right? So that that's the that's the information. Uh, by the way, if you want to see just uh, the outcome, just select this select statement, press F five, and it's going to show you that what information is going to be loaded uh, or created as part of their in uh, view, right? So I think we are good. We have fifty rows. That's what we loaded in the previous video. Let me just hit. F5, yeah, the, uh, the view has been created successfully. And let me just close this one. And let me come in here. I don't need that view. And by the way, you can do the same thing through the, through the, uh, uh, 
the front end uh, sql server really good in uh, helping you design your queries or object through the through the uh, gui which is the the sql server management studio so that that's a very powerful uh, interface for for designing the objects and that reduce a lot of design time uh, compared to to other tools like you know uh, the oracle and and uh, i would say the other databases which only provide the uh, the command line interfaces right but both have their power uh, problems and cons. I'm not going to go in that debate. And like you can see again, my view is not uh, visible. So what I'm going to do, right click and refresh and guess what the view is not available. Now you can see I can use this view as a normal uh, object uh, uh, and I can literally treat as a table but the only difference it is uh, a view which doesn't store the data it is referring it to to some other uh, other uh, uh, table which contains the data so for us it's actually a two-step layer the first layer is is in the in the uh, master data services where it contain the uh, the it, it has set up the view on top of the base table which are stored in in the default database and we have created just we have put another wrapper just to 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 encapsulate the information from end user and because they are only interested in 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 uh, seeing the information and we are able to show them the information in this way right and secondly if we change anything underneath uh, it's not going to impact on their work because until unless we change the these these uh, columns right uh, and like i mentioned two of them are the default column and we have created the other two right so that that's that's something uh, we need to only manage but that that's create a separate perspective for for user and by the way we can create another version of the same view with some different i would say uh, uh, uh projection that's gonna give an uh, other user uh, about uh, 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 for the information that that they, they need right as part of the uh, the uh, uh, the standard information uh, by the way these red line it's a pain like sometimes once you create a new object it, it's uh, assumed that the object doesn't exist uh, in the in the system so what you're gonna do i think the key is control shift r it will just refresh the cache and you will see the, the squiggly lines, the red lines have gone, right? So that, that's how you can share. Now this view, anyone can use in the organization, but the best thing you can see, uh, this view is going to be managed centrally. And I'm just gonna show you quickly with one record, which I'm going to change and then I divert it, right? So let me just come in here, go to my Explorer and let's take the, Angola, right? So what I'm going to do instead of, you know, okay, that's my, sometime, let's see if I can, it's not allowing me to minimize. Here we go. Microsoft still need to work on fixing some of the layouts. So you can see, okay, what I can do instead of AO, let me change it to AG. Right, so I'm changing it from the, the two two letter country code, just as an example, from AO to AG, right? So let me just click OK. And now you can see the information has been changed. Now, once user will run it on, on his end, so if we go in here, so you can see the information is automatically changed on, on his perspective. So the information is centrally managed, centrally controlled by, by the by the data steward or the data governance committee and the rest of the organization, they get always the, the, the correct information, or I would say it's a single source of truth that has been centrally managed and the rest of the organization, they, they can get that information from, from this central truth. So we don't have multiple version of the information. We control the information on a central place and then it distributed across the organization uh, 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 based on the changes 
is that has been approved by by the governance committee so that that's the whole concept of sharing the the master data information uh to 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 the to the other teams uh through through views uh feel free to reach out if you have any question put your question in the comments more than happy to answer otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video